Welcome back to my channel, Value Investors. In this video, I'm going to be covering an interesting biotechnology company by the name of United Therapeutics. This company has a number of drugs that are already commercially available and the company's growing revenues, generating really good free cash flow on those drugs. They're also embarking on a new area of their business, which is for xenotransplantation of artificial organs that people really need. There's a list of people waiting for organ transplants. And if United Therapeutics is successful, it'll help a lot of people that are in grave need of an organ. I'm gonna take a look at the company value the company based on their revenues, earnings per share, free cash flows, and then share that analysis with you along with my plan to either buy this, this stock or not buy this stock. I'm not a stockholder of this company yet, and I'll make that decision at the end of this video. Do me a favor and like my video and subscribe to my channel and please leave comments on United Therapeutics. I'd love to hear what you think of this company. So I have a process in evaluating companies and then making a decision whether I should buy, hold, or sell a stock. The first area that I want to really look into is the company. I want to put myself in the position of a part owner of the business. Do I like the business? Do I like the industry? Do I understand the business? Do I like the management team? Do I think they're doing a good job? It's all about the company, and that's probably the most important step in my process. Second, I want to look at the balance sheet. Is the balance sheet in good health? Is debt less than three times EBITDA? And then the stock price. Is the stock being discounted at the current time? Or maybe it'll be discounted later on. But I need a discount on the stock because I'm a value investor. And I want to buy low and sell high. And based on the answers to those questions, I'm going to buy, hold, or sell United Therapeutics. The company was started by a fairly incredible person. And she started the company because her daughter had become really ill and there was no treatment, no pharmaceutical to help her daughter. So she traded in a very successful career in communications. She actually started companies, launched satellites into space, and then operated. One company that is probably familiar to everyone is Siri, the, commun the communications company. And when her daughter became ill, she studied the science and developed a drug that ended up helping her daughter. So that's what a what a great story. And that's that's the founder. And I think the people that are working for this company are that passionate about the science. And the science is really aimed at helping people, which is a great story overall. The story behind the company is inspirational and the economics behind the company are very impressive. They are really aiming to be a $4 billion revenue run rate company by the year 2025, which should be a, a really aspirational and high growth rate. They have commercial platforms where they can develop these sciences that are helping people and really have a, a way to execute and be able to provide these, these cures and these solutions to people that have these really bad situations. They continue to develop, and as mentioned, the xenotransplantation area is one area where they're just I mean, if they're successful, that's just going to help a lot of people and I think really increase the value of this company as well. The company generates a good level of cash flow, and that is such an asset and a strength to the company because with that cash flow, they're able to then further do development, further advance the growth part of the business. So that is a strength of the company. That strength is really accumulating the balance sheet because the balance sheet, they have over $4 billion of cash and short-term and long-term investments. Again, that capital can help this company grow in the future. Overall, their supply chain is in good shape. They have commercial, uh, commercially available uh, drugs that are, are in inventory. So as patients need those drugs, they're readily available and they can supply those customers, those patients with the drugs that are needed without delay. The pipeline of additional drugs and available commercial solutions for patients is quite quite good for the company. They have additional drugs that are being registered uh, for approval with the FDA, and those may be commercially available in the next year or two. They are also going into gene therapy, which is something that they have really uh, a lot of science behind for the related aspects of, of the drugs they've already developed as well as a xenotransplantation business, they need to be gene specialists. And I think they're developing treatments that are related to gene therapy. And then the business that is 
quite impressive, if anything, from a science perspective, quite incredible, is a xenotransplantation business where they're actually manufacturing organs and then being able to transplant those organs to a person to basically save their life. So that business continues to be a area of investment. Nothing's commercialized yet, uh, but hopefully they have a breakthrough there and it becomes commercially available, which would then help a lot of people and obviously make the company more valuable. Some news related to the company is first, they're acquiring a company and it's a small acquisition. It's less than $100 million. So it'll just make them a little bit bigger and have um, more resources available. Again, they have a very good amount of cash and short-term investments on their balance sheet. So they won't have to take any debt for this small acquisition. The other uh, bit of news is that the company was successful in winning a case against a competitor that was using something they had patented and the FDA and uh, the courts decided in United Therapeutics favor that they could enforce their patent against this competitor, their competitor that was trying to use something that they developed. United Therapeutics has a market cap of $10.3 billion. It's a really nice market cap. That's just outside of a small cap entering the mid cap range. But I really like small and mid cap companies as we go into 2024. I think that they have a lot of room to run. The company has $2.2 billion of revenue and they have a PE, a forward PE ratio of 9.57, which I really like. That's a low forward PE. That's one of the reasons why I ended up looking into this company and uh, analyzing it further. Analysts have a strong buy on the company. Uh, so there's a lot of optimism around the company. As we look at cash flow, they generate just really good cash flow. And for the last trailing 12 months, they have $764 million of free cash flow. The revenue looks really good. They've been growing the revenues and they have commercially available drugs. They acquired that additional company. So their, their revenue growth looks good and their profitability looks really good as well. Their earnings per share is expected to grow by 11% going into 2024. Their price to earnings, they currently have, if you look at forward earnings, just about a 10 PE. I think they deserve a higher PE. This is an exciting growth company. If they're successful, geez, this stock's going to quadruple in value pretty much overnight because it'll just be such an important company that is doing so much good and really growing their revenue and cash flows and profits. So I'm going to give them a higher PE in my valuation. I'm going to use earnings per share for the next 12 months to forward PE, uh, but earnings per share. But I'll use a PE that's higher than what they've been getting recently. As mentioned on my videos, I believe that healthcare was really left behind in 2023. And it was left behind for no real important reason, no economic reason. So it's an opportunity to pick up companies that are really discounted. And I think this one's beginning to look like it's really discounted. Their debt to EBITDA is really good since they have very little debt and lots of cash. And their EBITDA is really strong. So it's less than one. And I'm looking for less than three. Their revenue is really good. They've been growing and they are nice and profitable, generating lots of EBITDA. So overall, the company looks strong and I'll be using this information on my valuation. I believe that this company is discounted by 79%, which is a very big discount. And I get to that particular discount by valuing the company based on their free cash flows that I expect, as well as looking at their earnings per share that I expect, and then determining what I think the company is worth then comparing it to the current stock price. Let me take you through the free cash flow valuation and then earnings per share. So the free cash flows that I'm using is the trailing 12 months grown at 10%. And then the first four years, I'm gonna grow at 10%. All cash flows beyond year four, I'm gonna grow at 4%, which is conservative. If these guys are successful, look out. This is, this is just gonna be a high growth company, which would be really, really neat to see. The discount rate's 9%. This is a higher discount rate they have such a quality balance sheet, but this is a smaller company in biotechnology, which is it could work, it could not work. So there's a higher risk. So I'm using a little bit of a higher weighted average cost of capital. Based on that discount rate and the cash flows that I expect, the net present value of those cash flows is $17.4 I'm going to add the cash on the balance sheet and take away debt and get to an equity value of $19.5 billion. Market cap currently is $10.3 so that computes into 
a per share value of $415, but you can buy shares at $218 per share in the market. So there's a nice discount of 90%. If you look at the cash flows of this company, if you look at earnings per share, the forward earnings per share that I expect is $22 and 36 cents. I'm going to give them a higher P than they've been receiving. They've been receiving about a, less than a 10, but forward, I'm going to say 18, which is even less than the industry average. And this is an exciting company. I'm going to have a modest growth rate of 4%. They could definitely grow earnings per share much faster than that. But let me be conservative at that rate. And I'm going to use this formula up here to determine the value of the company based on earnings per share. It computes to $343.21. The share price currently in the stock market is $218. So looking at earnings per share, the company is discounted by 57%. I use a blend of the two using free cash flows as a two thirds of the blend. One third would be earnings per share value. And I get to that blended value and discount on the company of 79%. So should I buy shares of this company or stay away? Well, let's take a look. First, the company. Do I think the company is a good company? Do I like the industry? Is the management, management team good? All of those things are positive for me. I think the uh, company is really interesting and exciting. And I would definitely want to be an owner, especially knowing that they have potentially a really new growth catalyst in the Xeno transplantation business. I think their management team, holy smokes, just a high caliber team of scientists that are really passionate about how their science is going to help people. So all those things are really good for me. The balance sheet's excellent. So they have lots of cash and they uh, have enough cash to really fuel the growth of this company. So I don't expect debt to ever rise for this company because they have so much cash and they offer a really fantastic discount. So having said that, I am a buyer of United Therapeutics. I'll be starting a position in this company. So that's my analysis on United Therapeutics. I hope you found it interesting. I'd appreciate your comments on the company. I'd love to hear what you think of the company. If you're in this science, I would especially like to hear from you. I'm not a scientist. I'm an accountant. I'm a, a, I have an MBA and I have lots of experience, mostly in technology. So I'm kind of looking at this from the outside in. Would really appreciate if there are any scientists that are watching. I'd love to hear your comments and, and understand them. Do me a favor and like my video and subscribe to my channel. That'd be really good. And I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Good luck investing in 2024.